Hey guys, I want to make this video and talk about Leafa if you should take her to level 120. At this current moment in time, she's the only character that is available in the Fire Elemental Suite, right? That you can get. Uh, that has the um, double incarnate, as they call it, or 2x incarnate, or incarnate combo. I don't know. I mean, there's multiple names for it. Um, but anyway, she's the only one that could do... 2x that is new right all the other characters yeah there's more characters that can do 2x but they're not new they're kind of old and they're outdated and nobody wants to take them to 120 now the question is do you really want to take her to level 120 compared to some of the other characters in here now i have about 800 crystals uh i'm missing six okay so it's like 794 but you know it's it's, it's almost 800 not exactly on the dot but you know about 800 so, anyways, I'm very happy with some of the characters I take into uh, 120. One of them being the Dark Integrity Knight Kirito there. And then you have this one. And then you have Asuna, which also I like. But the problem is none of these three have the 2x Incarnate, Incarnate combo. Now, I would have taken her up there if I hadn't taken Kirito up there, like the Dark Knight. Because they both do the same amount of break, I believe. I could be completely wrong, I remember it. No, wait, she does more. She, Kirito does 62.5. She does 77, I believe. So I would have taken her up there if I, yeah, look, 77.5. So I would have taken her up there, Alice up there, this Alice, if I didn't take Kirito up there. But Kirito was released first, right? The Integrity Knight, and of course, this is a new uh, costume or this is a unique type of character style. So. I really don't feel bad about taking him up there, but in terms of skills, I probably like Alice to go up there. Who does Alice pair with anyways? So pair pairs with Kirito. So no matter what, um, I, this one you have to take up there. This is the universal character, with, especially for magic type characters because of this, right? So very, very good character to have up there. Asuna, obviously you can attack and heal at the same time. Very, very good as well. So that being said, these are some of the main characters you t should take up there, right? And of course, Alice, uh, take your pick. And of course, here, if I go down a bit, I'm missing one character I really want. Never gone her, and that's Administrator. And I don't mean this Administrator. I mean the Administrator that has plus three to recollection field, right? Now, I am using... Where's that Alice? I'm using this Alice. This is a horrible, slow-ass Alice and the only character that has plus three to recollection feel on my list, like, for fire, right? So, I'm using her. If I had a choice, I wouldn't use her. But I don't have no choice, so I have to use her. Now, if you have the Administrator, I recommend taking the Administrator up there because the Administrator is probably going to be better than Alice, right? Um, but I don't have her, so what can you do, right? I mean, you can't do anything if you don't have the character. And unfortunately, I don't have the character. So, anyways, so I would take these three up there, uh, as well as Ministrator. So that would mean that you could still take one more character up there, and you'd be thinking, "Hey, should I take Leaf up there?" Because Leaf is the only one that can do uh, 2x Incarnate. And don't forget, you have to have Shaita. There's no way you don't have Shaita. If you don't have Shaita, you're pretty much dead, right? I mean, because where are you gonna get your uh, charge, your yell charge? So you have to have Shaita on the team regardless. And you have to take her to 105 because then she gets the uh, short wait time, which is also relatively important. So once three, four slots are filled, leaving you with two more characters you could select on who you should have in there. And one of the characters out of the two slot, like I was saying, should be the plus three to recollection field. Whether it's Alice or Administrator, Administrator is better, but since I don't have her, I only have Alice, so we're putting Alice in here. Now, if I had Administrator, I would take Administrator to 120 and then put her in here. Because the two things you need is plus three to recollection field and Yell Charge. Those are given, right? They're, like, you have to have them. So, that would mean you'd have a slot for one more character. And if I had to be honest with you, I don't think she's worth it in the long term. She doesn't really do anything. She kind of just raises her own magic attack. This doesn't help anybody because it only helps herself. Like, she could do quite a bit of damage. 
but in the long term, I don't think she's going to be useful. Because you don't only have one character you could replace, right? And she is replaceable. That's what I think. Anyways. And who is she? Who Who is she? Uh, her partner is with Sinnoh, which means Sinnoh is going to come out. And I think Sinnoh is going to be better. So I don't rec recommend taking this character to 120 i think if you take this character to 120 i think you're gonna regret it for sure because once administrator i mean i'm administrator once alice comes out i think alice i mean not alice what the hell am i saying again once sinon comes out not alice sinon once sinon comes out i think sinon is gonna have a plus three to recollection field but i could be wrong right and it isn't that good, too. The problem here, let me tell you the problem. The problem here is you're going to have to remove one of these characters. And from this list, I would probably remove the Dark and Tag Knight. The reason for that is because these characters, while they are good, no doubt about it, they're good. The problem is they don't do the 2x infinite combo. And that has become very important. So if you only have one 2x infinite, that is bad. You Like having three is great. Having two is better. I mean, having two is better than one, but having one is not that good. So, regardless, you're probably going to have to remove the Integri Knight and put Sinon in there. But still, I think Sinon's going to be a better bet to take the 120 compared to Alifa. But we will see since the character's not out yet. And of course, don't forget, not only Sinon's coming out, you also have Miki, which I believe is going to be probably equally as good. They just purposely put out Leafa to make you spend like whatever you need to spend on Leafa, right? And then when Miki and what's her name? Sinon comes out, you're going to have to spend more. That's what I think. So I wouldn't take her to 120 unless there is a event, right? There's a ranking event. And then I'm saying, hey, I need to win this ranking event to actually get number one, right? Then I'll take her to 120. If I didn't have to do that, I probably don't want to take her to le level 120. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I gave you my suggestion, my opinion, and looking at all the characters I have, I know I'm missing the administrator, but that being said, you know, I still don't think she's that great to take to 120. Even though I could take her to 120, I'm thinking, well, what if Sinon is better? And then what if, like, Miki is better? Then I'm stuck here with this character. I mean, she's a charged character and all, but I think Sinon or Miki is going to be C-A-B character or B-A-C character. So it's going to be a break assault charge character or a charge assault break character, one of them. And it'll probably be more beneficial than her. We will have to see that, like, a bit later. But so far, that's my recommendation.